It wasn't unexpected, but the exact detail we hadn't seen to this point. Maria Klosnikova resisted a forced attempt to expel her from Belarus uh, between the 7th and the 8th of this month. Authorities saying they officially took her into detention on the 8th. We didn't know where she was for vast periods of time. Then she was held without charge on suspicion of national security offences. Now we have the official charge, and it was communicated to the world from the authorities in Belarus via Telegram, through social media, in this little post here. Let's just translate that into English for you to bring up the charges being levelled against her. Well, they're saying investigators today are formally charging Maria Klosnikova under part three of their criminal code. That is, calls for action aimed at causing harm to the national security of the Republic of Belarus through the mass media and the internet. Now, we know Maria Klosnikova has been part of this group called the uh, Transition, uh, the Opposition Transition Council, the Coordination Council, with a view to bringing dialogue about fresh new elections. Elections that should have happened. Of course, the European Union rejecting the re-election of Alexander Lukashenko, while Maria Klosnikova leading the charge for a new set of elections to meet international standards. She's a figurehead, really, of this wider Belarus protest movement. Her team uh, reacting um, very quickly, it's worth saying, on social media, uh, saying here that everybody in Belarus uh, is incredible. We've seen, of course, all the way through this, they said Maria's spirit is unbroken, that she will face whatever charges are levelled against her. Well, this issue, of course, has become a huge geopolitical uh, dividing point, flashpoint between uh, Europe and Russia. Russia backing uh, Alexander Lukashenko, meeting with the president, as we're saying, uh, Vladimir Putin meeting with Alexander Lukashenko, giving him a sort of a sign of approval there. Well, today, speaking to Euronews, the European Commission president, Ursula von der Leyen, took questions about how this situation is developing and what Europe will do. Speaking to our correspondent, Effie Costa Costa, this is what she told us. The member states are at the moment discussing uh, the sanctions for those who are responsible for the violence after elections that were neither free nor fair and where people peacefully took to the streets. Um, what we've learned out of that too is that we need a mechanism to, if human rights are violated, to impose sanction that is faster. Um, and therefore we will propose as a commission a so-called Magnitsky Act to move forward in uh, this topic. Well, as Europe plans actions for sanctions against Belarusian officials, we know now Maria Klosnikova formally facing charges. Tog, she had been held in detention. We were expecting this to come. This now begins legal proceedings on national security grounds, yet again a sign of a very serious clampdown on this transition council, this opposition coordination group. And, of course, we'll stay across the latest in the cube.